uh, I'm still not a morning person. Today, I'm starting my vlog. Uh, I'm doing that by heading up to the nomadic movement and helping them out on the land. So, let me see if I can get a quick workout in and then head up there with the boys. It's so cold! It's so cold! Ah. So, even though I'm from Trinidad, which is in the Caribbean, Panama is probably the same distance from the equator as Trinidad. But I'm up in the mountains in Boquete, so it's very cold. I'm not used to this. This little sweat should warm me up nicely. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Time to go shower, get ready for these boys and start today's adventures. It looks like it's going to be a very wet and cold one. I think the boys are ready and waiting for me, so welcome to beautiful Bukete. I am starting the vlog. Congrats, bro. Thank you, thank you. Hi, Lola. So, I'm up by the Nomadics today, and we're gonna be doing some flooring on the second level of the shed that they're building. And I chose today to start vlogging. Um, I'm here in Panama. It's an amazing, amazing view here. I don't know how I feel about this vlogging thing, but here we go. Maybe you'll be a movie star real soon, you know? You'll go from vlogger to, to movie star. You have to be ready to sacrifice a piece of your soul to do that. Yep. That'll take some time. <laughs> so folks, this is Jordan from the Nomadic team, and this is Kake, the sound effects guy. Introduction time. Who am I and what the heck am I doing in Panama? I came to Panama to do some business in January and I had to stay a little longer than I intended to follow up on some stuff. And I also had a very big intent to meet the nomadic team. Then COVID hit everywhere, the pandemic, the global pandemic. And I got stuck here for many months. It's now the 20th of July. And I'm still here. I can't go home. The borders in Panama are, are closed. The borders in Trinidad are closed. They have a couple of humanitarian flights to the US and that's about it. So it's been a very strange and unpredictable few months. And this, my friends, is Kaylee, the other half of the nomadic team. <laughs> Sleeping taking, on the job. taking a nap casually. <laughs> <laughs> so these are the folks that have been inspiring me to do a vlog and they've been doing an, an incredible job with theirs so hopefully I can reach the kind of numbers that they yeah, can dude, absolutely. and that I have a story to tell so. <laughs> you have an awesome story to tell thank you 
in coming to Panama this time around I saw this couple and they were traveling through Central America even through the US and so on they're from the US and when they got to Panama and came to this beautiful place called Boquete it, they just fell in love with it and they stayed so just doing my research on Panama I saw them on YouTube I reached out to them and said hey I'd love to meet you all, I like your vibe, I like what you're doing. It's something that kind of interests me. That's something on a, like an idea I had to do back home in Trinidad. I got to meet them when I came in January. It was amazing too. They're great people. Now I'm in Panama and I'm stuck and I'm trying to make the most of it. I am coming up every so often to the land to help them build and get things done here and just be part of the good vibes. <laughs> So aside from meeting the nomadics, I've been to several places in Panama so far and this place is blow mind. I cannot describe to you how amazing this place really is. So I'll just do it with my videos. So here I am, Richard from Trinidad, and I'm going to be telling the story of my journey here while I'm in Panama, stuck, and what it's like. I'll be talking about the things that I have to go through, how I'm gonna survive out here, the people that I meet because I've had the opportunity to meet some really good people who you'll see later on in the vlog and yeah come along for the ride it's gonna be great I'm, I wonder if they're spiky like if they hurt Sometimes. one way to find out <laughs> I'm too afraid. Since I met the nomadics, Kaylee and Jordan, uh, when I came in January, they have been pressing on me to start a vlog. I have always been terrified of being in front of the camera. Most of the stuff that I do, I'm I, like I'm never the subject of what I uh, what I shoot. I am a videographer by profession and, and photographer and this was just never my thing. I've never liked being in front of the lens so this is very new for me. It's terrifying and even putting it out on YouTube for the world to see. YouTube for the world to see is strange. Looking at the camera is strange even though I instruct and direct people to do that when I'm filming. It's, I, I get it, like, I understand the intimidation that comes along with it. And the wind is getting really intense here now, so I'm gonna shut this off and then get back to work. So we're just about wrapping up the work day today and um, we got some stuff done. We got the siding, a good bit of the siding done and Jordan got the first level of that mezzanine floor up. So yeah, it's been a pretty rainy day, very cold. Uh, but yeah, we're looking forward to the next day that we do this. Okay, so today was productive, um, wet but productive. Thank you for coming along with me on this journey. It was, it's kind of weird vlogging, I must say. It's something that I definitely have to get used to. It's an acquired taste, but here goes. I have quite a number of topics coming up. I have quite a number of friends to introduce you to and a lot of places here in Panama that we have uh, some adventures coming. So like, subscribe if you like what you see and Thanks for coming along this journey with me. Until I can get home, I'll be giving you some visuals. Take care.